This is Unboxing Office Spaces with Kelly. I am Kelly. I tell my clients to splurge on the items that they touch or use every day and try to save in things that they don't. So for instance, I want you to think about spending more money maybe on your bed sheets that you use every day and you touch every day and maybe less on things like curtains or something that is nice to look at but you don't necessarily touch or use every day. Today I'm gonna to box some items from my home office that I use every day. For me, this is my keyboard. I bought a couple extra things but I will unbox those later. Let's start with the keyboard. The company is Azio, it's A-Z-I-O, and they're known for redefining the workspace environment and coming up with some really cool products. The thing that I love the most from them is their retro style keyboards. This is the retro compact style keyboard and it is in the L wood. They actually have a limited edition one in like an emerald green and gold, and it is currently sold out, but when I saw it, I was like, take my money, I want it so bad. Um, but I ended up going with this one, which I also like a lot. This one is a wireless option. They do have a wired one, so it's a Bluetooth, uh, USB, and it's backlit. It has a mechanical, like what they call it, mechanical keyboard, so it has like the clicking sounds when you type it, so it feels like a vintage style retro typewriter feel. I really enjoy having a lot of like modern lines and kind of minimalist things in my home, but there's something really special about the nostalgia with a keyboard that looks like a typewriter. So when I was growing up, my mom used a typewriter. She still to this day uses a typewriter for some things and just hearing like the clicking noise and everything, it just brings back some really good feelings. So on the back, it shows all your features. They've got it in six different languages. So basically they're just talking about that it's designed to inspire, that it's classic style, um, that the mechanical key switches that make the clicking sound that feel like an old style um, typewriter. And then it has two connection modes. So you can do it by Bluetooth and by also with a USB. And then it has these adjustable interchangeable feet stands. So you can actually adjust the tilt of the keyboard, which is actually really great for ergonomics. It's got this box that has kind of like a magnetic latch opening here. You can see to open it up. So it definitely has like, it's a pretty hefty weight. It feels, it feels very like substantial in weight. Um, the, the overall feel of it, the, this is definitely like, this is real metal. This feels like a real wood veneer. These um, I believe are plastic, but they don't have like a, a cheap plasticky feel. They kind of feel more solid, um, but it's definitely weighty. It definitely has like a substantial feel to it. So this compact size is, you know, it's designed to be able to take it on the road with you so you can travel with it or have it at home. I personally feel like it's probably a little too heavy to be carrying around um, and traveling because it's, it's quite weighty. Um, but the compact size is nice that it just doesn't take up too much space and it could fit into a laptop bag. They also have a larger size, the regular standard with like the, the number pad on the side. This is the wireless one. They also have one that is wired only. Um, it comes in several different finishes and a couple different styling, but this is probably my favorite. I like this size. It feels very much like a small little keyboard that you would have. On the back, you can see with, where it goes from, you have the options of connecting it through Bluetooth, USB or off. Um, and then also the difference between a Mac and a PC. And then here being your USB connection point. That's oh, look, like look, 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 guys. Do I, can I do that again? Do you want to zoom up of that? <laughs> that is the, the keys lighting up. This one blinked here to let us know that the Bluetooth is connecting. Having an on and off switch on the keyboard is actually a really great feature to help preserve your battery life, um, especially if you were taking it on the go. Okay, so let's try this out. This is actually really nice, guys. 
When I first got this, I was most excited just to try out the clickety clackety sound of the keyboard because that's what I was buying it for. That's what got me excited. So it definitely does not disappoint on the clickety clackety of that. Another thing that I really liked that I wasn't expecting, I knew it was illuminated keys, but I actually thought it was like backlit illuminated, like a lot of keyboards, but the actual letters on the keys are illuminated. And that's really kind of a fun, cool option. A lot of the reviews online talk about the lettering kind of wearing off over time, but they do provide replacement keys um, from your kind of like most used keys if that does happen. I just watched the unboxing and review of the classic version of this keyboard on Unbox Therapy. Now on his, he had one of the keys pop off, and so I'm proud to say that here we did not have any keys get harmed, no keys popped off on this version. In all seriousness, it is a great video and a great review of the classic version of this keyboard, so be sure to check it out. Now that we've looked at the keyboard, the front of the keyboard, I think that there's a couple more things in the box to see. These are our feet, the adjustable feet that um, can change the height on the back of the keyboard to adjust for um, ergonomics. So you can change the tilt of the keyboard. So you can actually um, turn these. Can we turn this? You can actually turn these to. Okay, so they these do not adjust. It looks like they. They slide out the side and then them back to kind of give you a little bit more of an elevated angle to the keyboard. It's actually really nice. And then it has a bag to store it in for traveling. And it comes with a little brush to clean between the keys. And here is the charging and connection point for the, the wired connection and for the charging of the keyboard. And it looks like this is the wrist rest stand. So this is in the, the Elmwood and the gunmetal finish, just like the keyboard. And they can go together. So one thing I did notice that I'm a little disappointed about is that even though these two items came in the same box, they're definitely supposed to be the same finish. I think they are intended to be the same finish, but in reality, the color and tone. Now it might be hard to notice on the camera to see it kind of fully come out, but the color of this wood finish is slightly different from the color on the wood finish on the back of the keyboard. Now at first I thought, okay, that's not really that big of a deal because this is kind of like a little bit of a rougher finish and this is, has more polish, which I understand would be that, you know, because you're touching this and, you know, so I expect that to maybe feel a little bit different. However, the thing that is kind of the bigger disappointment here is that the tone of the metal on this part, this is supposed to be the gun metal finish, these two tones are completely different. It's kind of like they're made in two different places and maybe they are, but this definitely has like a more like blue aluminum kind of color and then this one has more of the gun metal feel. So it's a little disappointing that the finishes aren't exactly a match. Um, I was okay with the wood being a little bit different, but the gun metal being two different finishes, it's enough for me to return it. Next, I'm gonna unbox the mouse that's supposed to go with it. So let's see if those finishes match. So this is the Ozio Retro Classic Mouse. And the packaging is similar to the keyboard. So it is a black leather and gun metal. And let's see if the finishes match the gun metal on the keyboard. Okay, so my first impression of it, it does actually, it has a nice feel. The leather is like a nice finish and the roller does feel pretty good. Um, this is the gunmetal color, you know, comparing it to the keyboard, it does feel like it's pretty close. So I would say it's a closer match to the keyboard than the wrist stand. So some of the design features are that it's ambidextrous, meaning that it can be used right-handed or left-handed. It also is designed to be able to be used on virtually any surface. It even works on glass. 
Uh, this leather top finish is actually genuine leather, which is nice. It definitely feels, has a good feel. It's not super heavy, but um, doesn't feel like either super light either. It has like a good substantial feel. Um, it is Bluetooth and it works with both the compact version and the classic version of the keyboard. All in all, I do really like the design and the feel and the quality of the pieces here, but um, the finish change does bother me enough to return it. So for me, I'd probably give it maybe a seven out of 10, um, but I will, I will try again. I'll try to order another one and see if that's any better. Share with us photos of your at-home workspaces and be sure to tag us on social media at Pokebo Studio on all of our platforms. If you have any questions or things you would like to see me review, please comment in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more creating Kokobo content.